The verse for Glorious kind of the initial idea started off just in the midst of worship at my church and just in one of those moments where you're pressing into God towards the end of a worship time, so I just encourage the congregation, man, let's, let's just close our eyes and just try to imagine and just look beyond the, the cross, look beyond the tombstone and see, see the resurrected living God, see Jesus, you know, high and lifted up, seated on the throne. So kind of had that idea for, gosh, maybe a year, just noodle around with that, you know. Look inside the mystery, see the empty cross, see the risen Savior, victorious and strong. And um, on a writing session with Brenton Brown, kind of after a bunch of other song ideas, and eventually got around to saying, you know, I have this one idea that I feel strong about, and played that for him. He was like unpacking a suitcase, and he was like, oh, man, oh, wait, um, wait a minute. And he just started without even picking up his guitar. He's like, oh, I could just hear that. And then, boom, it's like, this was one of those, boom. <laughs> Felt like one of those moments where, man, this feels like a God thing and this needs to be said. The bottom line is the importance of this song to me is to convey that we relate to a risen, living God. You know, we don't look back in time trying to relate to Jesus when He walked, but it's even the Apostle Paul said, we no longer know Jesus after the flesh, but we know Him, um, the risen Savior. You know, uh, Christ in you, the hope of glory. That's the main thing. Christ in you, Christ in me. The hope of glory, that's the great mystery.